Today I learned something new about Minecraft. Did you know that villagers can freaking scam you? Look at this. They increased the price of the quartz because I was trading too much. I hope they lower the price again. I mean, I don't want to keep trading that much for quartz. I'm trying to save up quartz for a future build. Not this episode, all right? Don't get, don't get too ahead of yourself. And I'm just like never going to have enough quartz at this rate. I might need to get another floor going in here. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Oh, this forest is so, oh, so awesome. So we need to expand some more trees in here this episode. We'll do that a little bit later. And we got the windmill that we made last episode, which uh, you guys were all very happy and very content with, which I really do appreciate all of the feedback and all of the, uh, I guess, uh, praise. I don't know. I, I, I like this windmill a lot too. You guys gave a lot of good suggestions, but one of the main suggestions that someone commented, I can't, I didn't write it down because I'm stupid and I'm sorry I didn't acknowledge you. But we have no interior in here. And someone called me out in the comments and said, you never make your interiors. And it's kind of true. Interiors are not like the most fun thing to make in the game. So we'll come back to that. <laughs> but our main subject for today's episode is going to be what you saw in the thumbnail once again, the observatory. So I'm currently working on the observatory uh, kind of like trying to come up with the design and the build and the theme for it. I think it's going to go right up on that hill, actually right where that horse just popped in at. And it's going to be a cool observatory. I think the theme we're going to do is we're going to kind of keep it towards the cyberpunk theme. That's kind of near the city. And I also want to start working on cyberpunk a little bit more because I've been, I've been missing it a little bit. It's a tough design. It's a tough theme to make in Minecraft. It's a, uh, it's definitely an acquired uh, you know, like a practice. So I just need to start practicing again. I want to tear down this corner building here. It's so freaking ugly. We might do that this episode. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I finally bite the bone on that one. Is that even a saying? But yeah, right up this hill here is like the perfect spot. It's super flat up here. There's a lot of room to work with. I think if we, especially if we make uh, the observatory on like a little bit of a foundation, just like a few blocks off of the top of the mountain here, it will be very visible from like all of the valley here. Wow, I haven't seen it from this view before. Hold on, I'm gonna put it on 48 chunks. Can we see all the way over to the bridge? That's so cool. Wow, this valley has really come together, hasn't it? But the main reason we're making the observatory in this episode is because last episode I talked about uh, this mod called Astrocraft, which you can kind of, you know, you can see it pretty well now. There is a lot of planets and stars that it adds to the night sky, and it looks so. Uh, just amazing and when you uh when you increase your height in the world as well you uh get to see more stars like the it's called magnitude if you are familiar with any sort of uh deep sky uh i don't know i don't know what to call it but like i guess looking deep sky looking <laughs> i'll call it that uh the higher you go like the less Whoa, I'm getting shot at. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, so yeah, the higher up you are, the less uh, air particles and like oxygen are in the way, so which means you get to see more sky. It's like light pollution, kind of. So right now, I mean, at this height, we can see a little like the edge of the Milky Way galaxy here. I believe that's, I think this is a good spot for it though, because I still want it to be visible and not like too high up. Like there is that over there, the peak of that mountain. But then I'd, you know, it's a bit closer to White Bridge. So it'd be a, di a bit of a different theme. So I think we'll keep it, uh, you know, like a cyberpunk thing. I think it'd also be kind of unique because when I was doing my research for to make this build, uh, no one's ever made like a cyberpunk observatory or like ever combined the two there. So it's gonna be quite a challenge. Uh, just, you know, like even like concept arts, there's no concept arts of this. So I'll have to be very creative. So it's a very challenging process right now, but I'm willing to push myself for it. So over here at the windmill, I think this is the first thing I wanna do today. I want to do the interior and I, I think like, I really don't enjoy doing interiors. I don't think anyone really does. It's, it's tough. You know, you have to focus on the smaller details and there's so much more to it. So I think I'm going to try to hype myself up here a little bit and we'll, we'll, we'll make this, um, maybe we'll try making this a reoccurring segment in my videos where I go through and I add interiors to places where I don't want to add interiors, but I'm forcing myself to do it for the content. Interiors with bars. It is time to get started. So in here, 
in the windmill. I'm thinking, you know, we got to keep it feeling like a house at the base here. I think, um, obviously, you know, we have the two little house roofs here kind of coming out the sides. You know, we got this one and the front one here. And also we have like these windows and like this little like porch right here. So it very much feels like someone lives in this place. Someone man whoever manages this windmill lives inside here. So we need to make this first level feel like it's going, you know, someone lives down here in like their kitchen, yada, yada. But I definitely want it in the middle here. I want to have like the main rotary blade shaft thing. You know, I'm kind of thinking like a bit like create mod, how there would be some, you know, some sort of shaft that would convert all that, uh, you know, windmill torque into power. So there, I want to make that a consistent thing throughout. So we'll have a nice like wooden pole going through here. Then we'll have some nice like lookout rooms up above something you know going on with all these windows we'll figure something out with each floor and, and then some way to connect up up here as well so let's get started i'm gonna go back to my uh you know my storage room over here at the church and grab some materials real quick all right so our first order of business is to fix up these ugly walls let's get some deep slate and we'll kind of just match the outside out here There we go. We got a nice little baseline for our first floor down here. And this will be like the living quarters. Maybe we make the bedroom on like this next floor up here. But uh, anything above there is just going to be... Uh, actually, I don't even know if I'm going to make these two into floors, like separate floors. But I definitely will have a, some sort of floor right here on that like uh, the blackstone level there. So let's swap out all the floors, the grass floors. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it up a little bit. And let's get some wood floors in here. We'll have a nice little pattern with some stripped spruce logs. There we go, a nice little baseline in here. Let's throw in the main pillar. Ooh, I did want to do oak wood for it. Ah, nuts, I'm gonna have to run back to my base. Oh, no, Frederick. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, so I think this little corner over here will make it into like a little kitchen nook area. So we'll do a nice little like checkerboard pattern. Oh yeah, that's cute here. I might even expand it out over here. All right, it's time for the big guns to come out. I'm gonna start pulling out all my fancy blocks. Look at all this decoration. This is my favorite shulker box I've ever owned. It has everything I ever need when I'm decorating. It's so, so convenient. All right, the little kitchen corner is done. I think I want to add in the floor up here just to give myself a little bit more context and how big this bottom floor is going to be. So let's throw it in real quick. I got some more logs and some slabs. We'll do the classic. Um, oh, I used to know the word. I can't think of the word. Uh, roof. We'll just do ceiling. Full ceiling. All right, we got our ceiling installed looking real nice right now. Let's get in some more natural lights, especially now that we have a ceiling, we can hang some lanterns, which might look pretty cool. Now I'll make this corner here into like a little library, like little cute little reading nook maybe. So let's have some fun with that. All right, and then right over here in this corner, let's add in some gears. Let's see if we can figure out gears because I think I've made gears before in the past. But I'm not quite familiar with how I actually did it. So we will be winging it today, folks. Man, they really need to make freaking oxidized lightning rods. That'd be so sick. All right, we'll just go full freaking regular copper on this. Beautiful. Okay, that looks pretty sick. Oh, I do like that. Okay, then we do another gear kind of right here just to make it feel like it belongs a bit more. So what if we do something like this? Then maybe we go like that, like this. Might have to do it off another block like that. And then we are... There's no way that I thought that was original. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, that'd be a cool shape. It'd like fit right into that one. Okay, well, reset, reset, reset. Oh yeah, that looks sick. Oh, I love how that looks. What if I want, if I got a warp trap dude in the door in the middle maybe that trapdoor uh fence gate or even just a fence that might look pretty cool 
I think I like that. Uh, kinda. I don't like the bottom. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Nice. Okay, we got a little couple of gears in here. Maybe one more. I can make the same one right here and make it up in that corner. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'll be the first to say it. Shifting and having to like shift and jump at the same time so you can interact with something like a trapdoor while on a scaffolding. Look at that. It's so annoying. All right, Mojang, if you're if you're listening to my video, first off, thank you. Welcome. Um, second off, boy, do I have a suggestion for you. Ready? Make it so the edges of the staff scaffolding, these edges you can shift on without having to hold jump and you won't go through. And then make it so the middle you can go through with shifting. And also when it's up and like has a little thing overhanging thing like this, there's no reason that you need to go inside of the scaffolding. Maybe make it so you still can if you enter from the side. But if you're already on top and I'm here, there's no reason for me to be able to go through. It doesn't really make sense. So um, make it so it's a solid block or whatever. Okay, and then that'll make scaffolding useful. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. All right, I think I'm just gonna go through and start adding in some more random details and start cleaning up the place a little bit and see how that turns out. All right, we got all the interiors done for this first floor here. Looking pretty good. I'm quite happy that it turned out. Now the staircase here, it's a little weird, but we're gonna keep it as is because I still wanted this uh, like little upper porch here to be accessible. So bloop, you know, you can see it here. Oh, actually, pretty good view here of the the flower fields too i like that uh but yeah i wanted to include that staircase it's a little wonk but this whole building's a little wonk i kind of want it to be a little quirky so i think we did a pretty good job with that uh towards the end of that little like building the interior montage there i had like a really bad headache so i took a little break from speaking and just said i'm gonna finish the build out <laughs> so i'm here the next day kind of going over a little bit of what i did uh extra i think i added in these little arches right here kind of just cleaned up some of the entranceways right here especially this one this one looks really nice and tidy i got some random stuff on a table here i don't even know what these sea pickles are supposed to be maybe some sort of like vase holder i don't know man i'm just you know it looks like it's something on the table <laughs> i think that's all that really matters and then yeah same thing over here nothing else not much else though uh i didn't end up adding anything above on these upper floors here if we kind of cheaty cam up here. I think I'm going to worry about this a bit later because I was getting a little stumped with like how I'm going to continue any sort of, uh, I don't know, purpose for those upper floors. So I might just try to make it really feel kind of like the interior of like a clock tower. Maybe, you know, how like, you know, maybe big Ben or whatever, whenever, whenever they're interpreted in media, they have like a lot of gears and like, uh, like indus industrial parts and everything. So I think I want to try to interpret that in the upper floors of the windmill instead of trying to make it like habitable. So I'll figure that out another time, but I do owe you guys some trees. So for the past few episodes, we've been building uh, about 15 trees every episode. I think we currently have 30 some odd trees done. So I'm gonna try to get another 15 done in a second here. I think we'll just try to place in a handful more. I want to kind of bring the trees, start going up this little hill here, probably trying to tear down a handful of these uh, you know, default oak trees right here, connecting up this little area. We might leave a little gap right here. I think it might be kind of cool to have a little open, uh, you know, open ceiling maybe, you know, for the forest. You know, you gotta have a, a little gaps every so often. So yeah, let's get started on some trees. Cue the time lapse. All right, we got some new trees planted in here. Looking pretty swag. I'm liking how this looks a lot right now. We got some nice, you know, color differentiation, little pattern right here. But we brought we brought out the pine trees a bit more to the right. And it's feeling a lot more full, especially coming up from this area. You know, we talked about trying to frame up this area a lot uh, last episode. And I think this is helping a lot with that, especially with the transition over to the whole white bridge area it's looking pretty snazzy it's feeling like this is a nice wall of a forest i definitely still want to bring out the trees a little bit closer to over here and then maybe clearing out a bunch of these ones i'm still not too sure about like the shape and like the distance we're gonna be going but we knocked out another 12 
or sorry, no, 11 trees. I didn't do 12 because I think I might be doing a fancy tree over here. Someone left a comment last episode, but a really cool idea for a tree right here, which was a fallen tree that's like collapsed a little. Maybe we have like a log over here and like the rest of the trunk right here. And we use like uh, the, uh, what are they called? The, the mangrove roots and maybe some like copper grates to kind of show like the dead leaves and like parts of the dead trunk. So that could be really cool to kind of experiment with, but I just simply don't have a lot of time to do it right now. I wish I did, but we'll work on that next episode. So here is about where we'll be building our beautiful observatory, which will be able to see the night sky and the moon, which is out right now. And it's daytime. Isn't that crazy? This mod is so cool. I love how the moon cycles differently than the sun. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. And also like in real life, you can always see the moon, you know, during the day, not always, but you know, a good chunk of the time. So yeah, right over here is the cyberpunk city. And I do want to start working on the cyberpunk city again soon. I'm starting to feel a little inspired, especially after working on this observatory. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of the cyberpunk theme and like how to build cyberpunk. It's a very difficult build style to, to work with, but uh, you know, I've been experimenting and I think we're coming up on it. Uh, of our city expansions being actualized. So I'm very excited for that. And also this field here, uh, a very big field with lots of potential in there. So also like, I just want to mention it. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas or anything like that, please feel free to leave them because I always read the comments and I love when you guys suggest things because I can, I, I want to like, you know, give a little credit to when people come up with ideas. I want to start, you know, bringing back the book and quill that we had in the earlier episodes and responding to some comments. So if you guys have any suggestions for the world in general or certain areas like the windmill or the flower field or the forest, which is looking awesome from over here, that looks so sweet. What the heck? Or even like the Italian village over there, or just the cyberpunk city. If you guys any have anything, anything at all to suggest. I am more than willing to uh, to answer your questions or comments or whatever. All right, sun setting. I'm getting tired. It's time to build this thing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the montage. <laughs> All right, here is the view from Nasita leaving our little village here. Looking pretty snazzy. It's a lot bigger than I thought, especially looking at it from over here. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I was struggling a lot on this design, and I'm glad I've kind of come on to uh, this design. I think it's pretty sweet. I love how we can see the mangrove signs there. I have a mod that enables it so I can see, uh, you know, like tile entities like chests uh signs uh yeah what other like banners maybe i think that's like the other one i can think of uh you can see them from a distance so that is a pretty sweet it's not losing any of its like fidelity with that I've, which i think is pretty freaking awesome and i had a lot of fun uh with the actual dome part of this too uh let's get up there so i can show you guys a little bit more up close all right climbing up the snowy hill you can see a lot more random little details and i'm one detail i really do like that I've never really uh, like experimented with before is these like chimes that I added in with the fences. They look really sweet. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It does look like little wind chimes, which I don't know how useful that is, but it is up on a hill. So it makes some kind of sense, you know, to be like, oh, there, you know, you would maybe it'd be useful to hear the, the wind chimes and know if it's too windy to, you know, bring out the, uh, the telescope there. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Then we got some nice little pipes over here. I, you know, I really like how these turned out. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, that's actually bad. Oh, it's not really what we want. Cause I wanted to look at the beautiful night sky with, with our, with our freaking telescope. All right, let's hop into cheaty cam here. And I want to show you guys a little bit more up. Oh, I'm about to stringify everything here. Oh, well, it might be kind of cool that snowed over. Maybe. Anyways, one of my favorite parts of this is the telescope itself. 
It's actually based off of the spyglass that you see in game, like the in game texture of it. And I thought that would be pretty fun to kind of uh, keep it a little Minecrafty, have that same consistency. So at the end here, we have like the little amethyst uh, like lens. Then we have like the gold uh, little parts of the body there using some bamboo wood to be, you know, like a little bit of an accent block for the gold. And we have some dark oak there in the middle to be like the wood, uh, like telescope base of it. We also have these windows here, which I've never done these windows before, but I quite like how they will look just using the copper grates in the background of the window to be like the actual, you know, like, you know, like a grated window. I think it looks pretty sweet. We have a little loading dock right here and eventually we'll do some interiors here. You know, I've been trying to be better about interiors. You can see right through here. Um, but it's just, it's just, I don't have the time, man. I, I've been really, really bad about uh, managing my time recently with these videos and I've been struggling to uh, even like complete my builds in time. So right now it's Saturday at like 3 p.m. and this video is going up tomorrow. So hopefully that kind of helps you gauge on how poorly I've been doing with uh, with planning out these videos, but I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to improve, uh, but it'll come with time. Let's see it from some other angles. Oh, I would really like it to not be raining. It's interesting that we're at, we're at the point in our world now where we have so many different locations to view a new build from. I noticed that like we did it last episode, we did it the episode before actually when we made this tree. It, it's so interesting. Uh, oh, I like that a lot actually. That looks really, actually looks really sick from over here. Uh, in a way, I kind of do like the snow on, on the dome itself, but maybe uh, it's probably not worth it. I probably should still stringify all that. Oh, we see a nice little silhouette from over here. That's pretty sick, actually, just seeing the silhouette. Oh, I guess we gotta I'll, we gotta see it from the Cyberpunk City too, actually. I gotta set up the station over here too. We have a lot of random things we gotta do. So I think maybe next episode we'll tackle some of those things, like building the tunnel for the Cyberpunk, uh, or not even the Cyberpunk City, but like building the tunnel for our train system, and then also setting up the train station down here in the Cyberpunk City, because we'll be working here. I think we'll be working here next episode. So I do. Want to start working on this city again. Oh, I do really like this city, especially this angle. I think this angle is like officially done. And I really like all the details and all the fun stuff there. So the observatory from here, though, actually has a pretty good profile. I'm glad it's not too, you know, too wonky or anything from this side. I think it looks quite nice. Oh, yeah, another nice little feature there. Let me zoom in. I got these nice little, I have like the frog lights behind some slabs there. And it kind of creates a nice thin light which I feel like is pretty like cyberpunky, you know, just like LED lights everywhere, you know, pretty, I mean, we've kind of like established that, you know, lights everywhere is like a big part of uh, the cyberpunk theme that we're going for. So I think I did a good job with that too, actually. And especially from over here, you can kind of see those really thin uh, lights there. Oh gosh, man, I forgot how pretty this area is. We need to, we need to, we need to lock in and do more of this. Uh oh, wait, what happened here? Oh no! <laughs> The creeper farm we made got blown up. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll have to work on a better design then. We'll probably use some cats instead, uh, which also would give us more spawning platforms. Oh man, it got freaking griefed. I had a feeling it would happen. I, I had a feeling the snowman would get uh, a little too ambitious. Do we have any? It's Yeah, we have general. Yeah, it definitely broke. Oh man. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to get subscribed. And if you enjoyed the content and you want to see even more content, join as a member. All right, that's it. Bye.